Um, the only other thing that happens in this part of the song, which I don't even think I had by the time we were before the session, was this bass. Yeah, that's the Moog, right? Yeah. So I have a, a Moog sub fatty, which isn't here today, um, which is really one of the first like analog synths that we decided to buy. Um, <laughs> And has everything that, has that Guitar Center guy called us back yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> guitar Center is so funny. You like roll up from advice, and they like get your email and send you music. You're like, jeez. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, oh yeah, I had some technical difficulties, and I called him, and he just went radio. He's like, I got you anything. Yeah. He just went to radio. <laughs> Fuck you, Guitar Center guy. <laughs> anyway, um, this sounds pretty simple. Um, yeah, I take all this stuff off of it, but. Really simple um, pattern, obviously. Um, the thing about like the Moog analog synthesizers is like you you don't really understand how much better they are than what comes in the box until you get one, and it's just you have such a much uh, such a stronger uh, you know signal to play with. Um, so even when I throw this processing on it, you just feel it. It's deeper. It hits harder. Um, I cut out some of the low end and it still feels like that. So here's my basic ass uh, Ableton EQ. I put a little bit of this Redux on it just to give it that buzz. So that gives it that that uh, added bit crush type sound. Um, and I just add that for like presence. Um, I'll do that a lot. Like if something's in there but it's not sticking out of the mix, I'll add this sound that you don't even realize is really there, but you can hear the sound better in the mix. Um, that's what I also do with the multiband compression, why I throw that on specific sounds. Um, so all together, with all my weird vocal effects, the bass and the wavy synths and my drums is... Now I'm hearing something else that I forgot to tell you about. Um, so um, there's this uh, cool... Uh, I think it's called the Hollywood Drums thing that I, I bought from uh, uh, REFX Nexus. Um, Nexus is a six synth. Um, I don't use it much in this song, but I do use it a lot. It's really presetted, so there's not a lot of tweaking that you can do with it. But they have really nice piano sounds. They have really nice string sounds. Um, if you're doing pop music, I'd recommend that. If you're doing more, um, looking for more of an organic, uh, less like synth strings type sound, I'd go with one of the contact players but anyway um, they I happen to find a really cool uh, hall they call it Hollywood drums um, preset pack which I highly recommend because it has a lot of really crispy um, orchestral drum sounds um, and I found this I called it war drum which is kind of what it sounds like like something from Braveheart but it kind of adds to the let's see, like a big open uh, bass drum that you'd hit with like a wooden mallet or something and that kind of adds to the just like the the spatial the spatialness of uh, of the drum so so it like, takes it from being more of like a i think that in the vocal um kind of oohs and uhs and woos and whatever take it from being like a sterile type like a pop beat to making it something cool and vibey and um you know, that with the wavy synth is what really kind of create the energy in this section of the song. Um, 